G'day, this is Lucia. Welcome to my art channel. In today's video, I am wanting to continue with the ribbon ring pour combo. Now, I know I said that I was going to not do that this week, that I was going to move on to something else because I thought I had exhausted it all. But what I, I got this idea during the week and I thought I'd give it a, a go. Now, unfortunately, my paints have just been mixed, so they're full of bubbles. So <laughs> hopefully this won't create a problem. But what I'm wanting to do is my last painting on Saturday, last Saturday, was unfortunately a little bit too dark for my liking and I prefer them brighter. So what I thought is that I would do a ring pour in some really bright colours. Now these are not neon, these are all just bright colours. So I've got Uraldo Wattle Yellow, Vivid Intense Pyrrole Orange, Uraldo de Paolo Melon Sorbet, Pebio Transparent Pink, Montmartre Brilliant Red. Now, all of these, except for the pink, are opaque, which might be a problem with that pink, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Then what I'm thinking of doing is going over it with ribbons, and only ribbons, no swipe this time, using Pebio Iridescent Blue Green, Black Diamond Green Envy, and Perlex Grey Lavender. So they're the colours that I'm wanting to use. I think you can see them there. So I'm hoping that that works. And what I'm going to throw in in the midst of all that is my Montmartre uh, Titanium White because I really want to keep it light and bright. So in saying all that, let's uh, get on with it and see how we go. All right, I shall just move the colours at these colours out for the moment because they're the ribbon ones all right now in here I'm going to start probably should wear some gloves because I know I'm going to make a mess I'd give it an experiment you know me and my experiments I love experimenting and trying what works and what doesn't I might just put a couple of spoons of white underneath just to start probably don't need the white underneath but anyway I'm going to do that um, I think I'll start with no I'll start with the yellow because then the reds on top all right so my consistency is a little bit thicker. I don't know whether you can see that. I'll bring it up a little bit more. It's a little bit, it kind of makes a mound and then disappears. Now, as far as ratio is concerned, these are old paints. I've, they've been sitting there for a while. All I've done is added about 5, 10 ml of Floetrol, Australian Floetrol, just to make them a little bit thinner. But these were originally paints that I used for bloom. So these had the natural base tint, a little bit of gloss varnish and the paint or the tube paint or the pigment, depending on which one it is. So these were on the thicker side and what I've done is I've added 5 to 10 mil. If it's really thick, like this one was really, really thick, I had to add about 20 mil of, um, of Floetrol. So just to, just to make it a little bit thinner that's all just so that um, but I want it to hold its its shape so I didn't want to make it too thin so we'll see how it goes um, let's go this way yeah, at this stage uh, yeah, I think I'll just do the whole lot if I can. Now, it'll probably be too much paint, which is always the way with me. But, you know, we'll see. Now, 
And as I said, these have got quite a few bubbles in them because I've just mixed the flow troll in it. Love this orange. Such a bright, beautiful orange. So intense. Hence why it's called Vivid Intense, obviously. Because these are older paints, I'm wanting to use them up, which is why I thought this would be a really good, <laughs> good time to do it. We'll see how that goes. But, yeah, heaps of bubbles. Oh, my gosh, lots and lots of bubbles. This is still thick, would you believe it? All right, we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm thinking that might be enough for, I think, because what I will do is if that isn't enough, I'll just add some white on the outside from the titanium white there to bring it out a bit more. So I'll just get rid of these paints now. Put them over here and then I can sort out what's left and what's not. Okay, so that's for my ring pull. Just make a mess this year. All right. Okie dokie. Now, in a little cup, I am going to add purple. Such a beautiful colour, this one. It's sort of got a silvery, silvery lavender. It's very pretty. All of these are pretty. These have all got a little bit of glitter in them, either iridescent or glitter, so... I think I'm thinking that they'll look good. I'm hoping anyway. I'll probably put more green in actually. Okay. All right, I'm hoping that that's not too thick as well. PBOs tend to thicken up quite a bit. Alrighty, and maybe just a couple of teaspoons of the white on top. Alrighty, now let's see. Here we go. It does look quite thick still, so I'm hoping it's not too thick that it won't move. Oh, I love those colours in, in the middle there. They're quite pretty and vibrant. I'm not very central, am I? I'm almost wonder, wondering where, whether I should still add some swipes, but I'm trying not to. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. I may be tempted. Oh, it's not good. I kind of stopped and then started again. I did it again. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll probably lose that anyway. All right. I love that vibrant colour. And the pink doesn't look so bad. Let's hope we don't lose it because it is iridescent colour. No, sorry, not iridescent, transparent colour. Oh, my gosh, look at all those bubbles. Anyway, can't be helped. We'll see how she goes.
All right. So now I'm thinking I might add just a little bit of white around the, the outside there. And this looks a little bit thick too. I thought I thinned this down quite well. Whoops. All right, that should do it nicely. Let's put the one over there. See how long my workspace stays clean. Probably not very long. Now, where's my palette knife? I might just quickly Give that a bit of a smooth. Oh gosh, that's really full of bubbles too. Yeah, I do recommend that you don't mix them like I did just minutes before you got to paint. It's best to mix them the day before and let them sit, but sometimes I don't have the luxury of that to happen. Alrighty, I think we're on the right track there. Alrighty, put that aside. Give that another blowtorch. I like that bit there. It's cool. Alright, so now with my ribbons I'm not going to go too far out because I don't want to lose the ribbons oh interesting the white's gone it's sunk <laughs> oh, put the white on the top and it's sunk so that's interesting so what I'll do I'll start here and go like so then I might do a figure eight, like so. I'm not liking that too much, so I better. Maybe I will. I think that might be too much, to be honest. All right, let's see how that is anyway. Let's start. Tipping that out. Oh, I love that center. It's gorgeous. Alrighty. Let's see how we go. Hey, let's take it out there and then bring it back this way and bring it out here. Then back this way. Sorry, you can't see that. And back that way. And we'll go right off this time. Oh, interesting. Oh, I love that purple. Wow. Sorry. Just for the moment. 
I do love those colours. They're gorgeous. <laughs> Especially the... Um... Oh, well, all of them, actually. I love them all. They're gorgeous. Love the ring pour shape there. It's just gorgeous. And even though I stuffed up a little bit in the centre, it doesn't actually look bad. I don't mind that little bit of um, character in the centre there. I like that. I'm just going to... I love it. I think it's got gorgeous. I love those colours. They're just beautiful. Just touch up my corners. Wow. I'm going to give it a bit of a blowtorch in a sec. I'm just going to set up to fix that corner up there. Some reds. Oranges. There you go. Wow, wow, I love those bright colours. They're gorgeous. Uh, the ribbons are a little bit too thick in some areas, so I might have to manipulate a few of them, make them a little bit thinner, but that's okay. I think there's a little bit, bit of a gloop there. Yes. Any others? Oops. There. Any other gloops? No, I can't see any at the moment. I will right, just torch that out and see if any cells come up. There's lots of bubbles, so I'm thinking I'll probably get a fair few pin pricks and some of those white. Uh, from the white, I'm thinking it'll come through. It may or may not. I'm hoping it'll just stay the coloured ones. If they do, wow, lots of bubbles. Like there, there's some yellow coming through the red there. And the pink pricks, and here. And I'm hoping that centre is not too thick. Oh, I love it. I should stick to bright colours more often, I think. All right, so what I'm going to do now is, as I said, there's a lot of thick or wider bits there that I don't want. I want some more of those thinner ones. So I might manipulate it. Do some manipulated ribbons. Oh, gosh, I love that. See, I didn't lose my... Uh, ring pour this time and I'm so happy about that okay let's see oh that's okay I don't mind that because there's white underneath when I do do that the white will come through which is fine with me
Wow, I'm liking that a lot. I really, really love it. Okay, there's a lot of ribbons happening there now. Probably a little too many, to be honest. But, I don't know, I just love it. They're really thin, they're not overly thick, except for the natural ones. I love it, I like it, I really do. Um, I don't know whether you guys like it, but I love it. <laughs> what can I say? I love that purple and that blue and green from the um, iridescent colours there. Oh, they're really pretty. There's a lot of yellow, a lot of red, a little bit of orange here and there. That's probably the most of it, and that yellow is gorgeous. And there's a bit of white coming through, but not a lot. And with those ribbons, it's added a little bit more. Yeah. To hear what you think <laughs> I'll bring you down to give you a close-up but I think that's a pretty good ending for what I wanted for this, for this combo of techniques that's better I'm loving that and I think some of those once those uh, bubbles pop some of that um, color underneath is going to come up so already you can see it here in the metallic colors or the iridescent colors I'm liking that. I like that a lot. Maybe I'm the only one that likes it, but I really like it. Just give uh, the bottom a clean up. I always, you must always do that, by the way. Um, always clean the bottom of your um, canvas. Just give it a wipe. Now, you may not see that happening on all of my videos, but it does happen. I just do it off camera sometimes. Always go back and uh, wipe the bottom of your canvas. Wait 10 minutes and then we come back and do it again. Two or three times. Depends on how much paint you've got coming off the uh, edge. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I really love it. I'm not sure what orientation I like out of that, but I really, 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 really love it. I love those colours. Really pretty and bright. Love to hear what you think. Um, yeah, I'll bring you down and give you a close-up. And I've made a mess of my workspace already. <laughs> what else is new? Okay, here we go. Look at those bright colours. Wow, they're so vivid and intense. Just love it. Uh, I'd love to see what they're going to be like in neons, the proper neons, when I I can afford to get the more expensive ones because I reckon they'll be more intense. But, wow, in the meantime, these bright colours are awesome. I'm loving them. Cool. And I like my manipulated, there's quite, probably quite a few of them, uh, manipulated ribbons. But I'm loving them, loving them and loving them. And I love that this time I managed to keep the ring pour in the centre there. That vivid, bright, sunny looking ring pour. Yeah, look, I really like this one. I haven't been happy this happy with a painting for a while. Um, yeah. If you liked my video and if you like this painting, Give us a like, a comment, please share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload my next video. In the meantime, I will give you some still shots and hopefully, if I've got time, I'll put some dry pictures in as well, but we'll see. That's assuming it's dry by the time 
this video is. Thanks for being here. Take care. Bye.